What's up guys, it's Alex the Magician here, and in this video I want to show you guys uh, how to actually do the break. So this is a continuation of the Guard Creature series, and in this one we're going to be focusing on the easier break creatures, like these Chaos Hydras for example, like these uh, Nyx, uh, you know, something like Unupgraded Unicorns, or even Upgraded uh, Unicorns, uh, Nagas, uh, Black Knights, uh, Cavaliers, so things like that. Things that are not ranged and uh, things that you uh, that are not too fast, so you're gonna be able to slow them and uh, do the break with slow without really losing anything. In the next video, I'll do the demonstration of how to do the more difficult ones, like the ranged ones, like cyclopes, for example, like these, uh, or like even fairy dragons uh, or something like phoenixes. So, but in this one, we'll focus on the easier ones. And this uh, video also applies not only to the break creatures, but to also the creatures that you actually face within the desert as well. Because basically, if you have a, you know, like 1599 Psychic Elementals here, that is pretty much the same as you would have had on the break. Uh, or, you know, like 1599 Magic Elementals, uh, these 2049 War Unicorns, that is kind of the same as you could have had on your break as well. So essentially, you're going to be doing a lot of hard fights in the center anyway, so you are going to need to know how to do those fights well and which fights it's better not to take. Okay, so essentially, when you're doing a break that is not too difficult, we're going to focus on the most standard scenario. We're not going to talk about any fancy magic uh, or, you know, doing the, the break on Luna or using, you know, animate with uh, undead or anything like that. We're going to talk about the most standard scenario, which is going to be breaking with the army that you have gathered in your biome. And, uh, you know, using a warrior hero. So that's the first thing. You want to use a warrior hero. And you want to have expert earth magic in most cases. Some of the easier breaks, like let's say unupgraded Nagas, they can be done without mass slow. But just to be safe, in most cases you still want to have expert earth and you want to have slow. Because what's going to happen is, um, like for these Hydras, they do have speed 7, so it's not terrible. But that means that without slow, they reach, uh, they close the gap in one turn, or in, in the second turn they can attack you. And they have that uh, multi-directional attack, plus no retaliation ability. So you really don't want to take any hits from that. Because like I said, you want to try to preserve your army as much as possible when you're doing the break. Uh, because afterwards, you're going to want to take some other fights. You still need to have army to take some of these fights to, uh, you know, potentially gather some stuff in the center. Uh, which is, you know, kind of the reason you're breaking, right? So it makes no sense to lose all of your army just to break because you're not going to be able to do anything in the center after that. Okay, so like I said, we want to have a warrior here. We want to have expert earth magic. And uh, the other thing is we want to try to get uh, some artifacts. If we can, whatever we can get in our biome to improve our battle stats and also our magic stats. Uh, because, you know, somebody like Shakti does not get very good magic stats normally. Like without this artifact, it's only three spell power and three knowledge. Which is still doable, but much better with this, right? But uh, these artifacts, for example, plus 5 attack and plus 5 defense, it helps us a lot. Uh, because then we're just going to be dealing more damage, we're going to be taking less damage. So any kind of artifacts that you can gather from your biome to help you in the fight with combat stats, with magic uh, stats, um, try to get those. Alright, and in this case we're breaking with 24 Wyvern and 2 Dragons. Uh, and just some 1 stack. So basically what we did is we gathered the hives that we had in our biome. So this hive, uh, this hive, this hive, and this hive. So four hives and a dragon cave. So that's all we did. Four hives, one dragon cave, and uh, you know we also portaled our dragon. So I would say that is a pretty realistic scenario. In a lot of cases you would have somewhere around this army that you would need to break with. And uh, this break with this army and expert slow and these stats is very, very doable. So let's just go ahead and get into it. 
And yeah, and like I said, uh, you do want to have one stacks to take retaliation from stacks you don't one shot. And it's also always a good idea to have a fast unit like a dragon or an angel or something like that. First of all, to be able to slow them. So for example, if I was fighting something like these Scorpicors, uh, the wyvern are not fast enough. So they will move, the Scorpicors will, will move first. But if I have a dragon, that means I get to move first. And that means I get to slow the Scorpicors before they move. So that is a, and that gives you a big advantage in the fight. With these Hydras, the Wyvern would have been enough, but still I like to have the Dragons to at least be able to kite, uh, to potentially be able to finish uh, the stacks that I don't finish, so that I don't finish with a Wyvern. So let's go ahead and do this like that. Okay, see, even Auto Combat was actually able to do it, losing pretty much all of our Wyvern and all of our Dragons, uh, but this is a good sign already. Right, and what we're going to do is we're going to try, we're going to do our best in these fights. First of all, we want to focus one stack at a time. And we want to try to kite the rest of the stacks so they cannot reach us. They cannot attack us as we're picking off the stacks one by one. So let's go ahead and start this. Slow. Then we're going to wait with the dragons. Wait with the wyvern. Wait with everybody, basically. Okay, the stacks move forward, right? Now, these three stacks are the most dangerous ones because we may not be able to one-shot them with our stack of Wyvern. So we're going to try to pick those off. So let's go ahead and um, take retaliation from these Chaos Hydras. So one of the purposes of having one stacks is to take retaliation from them. So I do that, they retaliate, and now they're not going to retaliate to my Wyvern or my Dragons. Now let's have these stacks just a little bit out of reach of these Hydras. Now let's go ahead and hit this stack. Okay, 182 health left. So we can also breath with the dragons. Actually, now I'm thinking it would have been better to uh, have just a two stack of the dragons, but that's okay. Okay, now they have 30 health left. We could finish them with the dragons, but what's going to happen is all of these stacks are then going to attack us, right? So what we want to do now is we want to retreat with all of our stacks. And then we want to attack them again next turn when uh, they cannot reach us. And these guys are going to do their best to kite. Ooh, that was actually not good. That does happen, though. You do have to play around morale in some cases. That's okay. I think we're going to be okay here. So now, what we're going to do with these stacks, is we're, we're going to move them forward. So after waiting, we can move forward, and because we move uh, again first, because we outspeed them, we can move them here and hope that some of these stacks turn around, and you know, just they're just busy going back and forth, uh, so they don't focus down our main stacks. Okay, and let's say this stack moves backwards. Now. This is actually a little bit dangerous, but what we're gonna try to do. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take retaliation from these guys with the dragon. He should survive. And then I'm gonna attack them with the wyvern. And then I'm gonna place this dragon over here so that this wyvern attacks it, or this uh, hydra attacks it and dies to retaliation. Actually, you know what? Maybe let's not do that because this stack can actually reach. So actually, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack this stack. And let's finish it. Let's finish it with Magic Arrow. So take Retaliation with the Dragon, attack with the other Dragon, and attack with the Wyvern. Oh, we actually killed it. No need to use Magic Arrow. And now, just so we do not take a hit from this one, 
because they can hit the dragon, and I don't want to take any more damage with this dragon, because he only has 40 health left. Let's go ahead and finish this stack with Magic Arrow. Now, these stacks, like I said, they're going to get these stacks to turn around. Actually, let's get the bottom stacks to turn around, because we can attack this Chaos Hydra, and we can one-shot him with the Wyvern. Let's do it like this. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is fine. And now what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to use... Well, actually... Yeah, we'll use this dragon to kite these stacks back. So this one can wait. This one... Can go over here. He can tank uh, a hit or two. And I think this Wyvern... Let's haste him just in case. Uh, and I think we are going to end up taking a hit. But let's hope... Uh, let's just... Let's wait in this case. Let's wait. And let's hope that this stack attacks the dragons and not the Wyvern. And the Troglodytes wait as well. No, they do attack the... Wyvern. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we have these two stacks kind of isolated, right? And because our Wyvern moves first, we're going to finish this stack, and then we're going to attack this stack. We should be able to one-shot them, and then keep kiting these stacks. Okay, so we can go over here. Nobody is going to reach us. Now the Wyvern finishes this one. Troglodytes can wait. Okay, good. Now let's maybe move the Troglodytes up here. These dragons can go back here. And also, what you need to remember in these fights is that slow will expire. And uh, you are going to need to re-slow uh, them in certain cases. So see here, we can see that we only have one turn left of slow. So we're going to want to re-slow uh, them next turn. Okay. No, okay. Now we can pick this stack off. And we'll finish this one. And there you guys have it. We were able to do this break on an army that is not too huge. Uh, due to the fact that we had slow and we lost nothing basically. All we lost is our one stacks. So doing the break fights intelligently like this with the easier break um, creatures like the Hydras, like the Nixes and things like that. Uh, you will be able to do the fights with uh, minimal to no losses. And that is your goal. Okay, so I think I'm going to end that video here just for the, uh, the sake of not making it too long. I think I will probably make another addition to this where I do a few more demonstrations where I fight uh, more of the easier uh, guard creatures just so you guys ha get a better idea of how to do this. But uh, for this video, I'm going to end it here. So I uh, hope that you guys found this video useful. Thank you for watching and for more Heroes 3 content. Uh, you guys can follow my Twitch stream. I will leave the link to the stream in the description below. So if you follow me, uh, you will get notified when I go live. And I do stream uh, from Thursday to Monday, uh, starting at 10 a.m. Eastern European time. And as always, I do make new video guides about every week. So you guys are welcome to uh, subscribe to me on YouTube as well. So you get notified when I release more videos. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos.